everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So today I want to talk to you about designer shoes and which of the designer shoes are the most comfortable. So as you know from past videos, I really like designer shoes. Um, some styles and some brands I like better than others, but of course I have my favorites. So I wanted to talk to you about some of the brands and how comfortable they are because I do like to wear some of my shoes all day when we're going shopping or if I'm going to work. So the number one most comfortable designer shoe I have found is Jimmy Choo. I have two pairs of Jimmy Choo shoes. This is one of them and I love this shoe. It has a wedge, it's not too tall, it has the sling back, and it is one of the most comfortable designer shoes that I own. Phil and I can go to the mall, I can walk around in them, and I don't ever get sore spots on my feet, and my feet never get tired. Um, the wedge heel is always more comfortable than like a um, stiletto heel, but these I really, really like. The other pair of Jimmy Choo shoes I have are wedges as well. These are every bit as comfortable except they are a little bit taller. They're just a little bit higher so my feet get a little more tired in these after a period of time. The wedge in this is the perfect height and I absolutely love it. One of the things I like about Jimmy Choo is they have the stiletto heels and they have a lot of wedges and sandals to choose from. So they have a lot of variety. So this is a shoe that I would highly recommend if you're looking for a designer shoe, but you are looking for comfort as well. I would highly recommend that you try a Jimmy Choo shoe. The second one that I would recommend is Sam Edelman. They're not quite as high of cost, um, but they are still you know they're pretty popular and a lot of people you know he's really becoming a popular brand he has a really nice shoe store in south coast plaza these are a pair of they're a shorter heel i love how sam edelman shoes just have something special to them something different these have little spikes but one of my favorite pairs are these i actually got these at tj maxx so i got them for a reasonable price even at tj maxx i think they were still about 60 $65, but the original price was over a hundred. And these shoes have such a nice chunky heel that they are really, really cute and really comfortable. So that's the other thing to take into consideration. If you're going to be on your feet for a long period of time, take into consideration the type of heel. Obviously the thicker the heel is, or even a wedge, the more comfortable it is and the more stability you have. So if you're going to be doing a lot of walking, something with a chunkier heel would obviously be a better choice. If you're not gonna be doing a lot of walking, you're gonna be doing a lot of sitting, then something with a littler heel might work just fine for you. I do have a third pair of Sam Edelman shoes. They're actually down below here. And they're boots. They are awesome. They have a nice heel on them as well, and they're very, very versatile. They actually go all the way up my leg, have a little zipper here. I love that they do have this drawstring here, so they can be made smaller if I would like them to. But the other benefit to these is I can loosen the drawstring, and I can pull them down like that, or I can fold them like that, and I have a completely different boot look. So. Keep that in mind if you're looking for a really nice boot. If you buy a nice tall boot, it has, uh, most of them anyways, this one has a nice satin lining, so they're made to fold down. But if you find a nice boot, sometimes they can be versatile and be worn for more than one style. So, the next shoe is Christian Louboutin. As you know, Christian Louboutin is very close to my heart. And one of my all-time favorite shoes, it is a pair of shoes that I have been wanting forever. I always wanted a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. These are so beautiful. <laughs> they make your foot and your leg, and they just, they have the perfect curve, and they're beautiful. However, they do have a very, very narrow, skinny heel, 
and they are actually fairly narrow in the foot area as well, which isn't a problem for me because I have really narrow feet, but they really, really do come in here and kind of squeeze your toes if your feet aren't really narrow like mine are. They tend to be made for smaller feet. However, one of the things I have found about these shoes that I think is really cool is you can get this exact shoe in a short heel, this height, or even taller. The benefit to that is you can get, you know, if you really like this shoe or this um, fabric, this design, you can really get it exactly how you want it. So if you're looking for something that's a little more comfortable, you can get a shorter heel. And if you're looking for something just for the night out on the town or something, you can get the taller heel and suffer a little <laughs> for a short period of time for the beauty of it. These shoes though, one of the things I love about them is that they just make your feet and your legs look really, really pretty. And I absolutely love them. So that's my video for today. Um, I'm going to be doing another video shortly. No Michael Kors. Oh, thank you. I almost forgot about them. These are the heels that I probably wear the most often and are one of the most comfortable as far as a skinny heel is concerned. And I almost forgot about them. These are my Michael Kors pumps. I, I, I pay for the, I pay for them. So, <laughs> so I, you remember so I what's left. <laughs> <laughs> I love these because they have this little, um, emblem on the back. Let me show you. It's a little gold Michael Kors emblem and it's so cute and it's very stylish and it stands out. So obviously when I'm walking, people can see that and it stands out from just a normal pump or a normal shoe. That little item makes my shoes extra special. And these shoes, I can walk in all day. I can wear these to work. I can wear these anywhere. If we're going to a wedding, a party, I can walk in them and I don't ever have any trouble with my feet or any discomfort at all. So I absolutely highly recommend Michael Kors as well. They clearly are made for comfort. Um, everything about them, they have some extra padding on the bottom and I totally love those. So these of course are the most beautiful and my favorite when it comes to that. However, when it comes to comfort, my choice would either be Michael Kors or Jimmy Choo. So I hope you learned something from my video today. Thank you so much for watching. I am gonna be doing some other videos soon. I'm gonna do some videos regarding designer purses and which ones hold up better, which ones last longer, which ones you can see uh, the wear and tear on them a little bit easier depending on the type of fabric they are. So keep checking back for that video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't forget to smash the like button and I'll see you soon. Bye! Please subscribe. And please subscribe to our channel. It keeps us motivated to make more movies. It does. And you guys have been subscribing yes. like crazy, which we totally appreciate. So thank you so much for subscribing and keep it up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Bye. Bye.